in the time leading up to a volcanic eruption, what will happen is pressure is building in the magma chamber. And the movement of the magma can create little earthquakes and bigger earthquakes. And some of those earthquakes might lead to the collapse of some of these cliffs, or at least that's the sort of hypothesis that we're trying to understand here. All right. Um, I'm uh, Atle Utvatten. I'm a professor of uh, geology at the University of Bergen in uh, Norway. So yeah, I'm John Howell. I'm a professor of virtual geosciences from the University of Aberdeen in Scotland. So we are on Deception Island in Antarctica and we are here in the middle of an active volcano. The purpose of our project is to study this volcano and as an active volcano there is risks associated with people coming here. Now the Spanish base which just sits on the other side of Port Foster, they are doing a very good job of monitoring the volcano and listening to it and measuring the temperature and measuring the activity. But we recognized a potential extra risk which was from the cliffs behind us and at specifically where there is the narrow entranceway, Neptune's bellows, into the caldera. So we've been using drones to map those cliffs and to, to sort of record the geology. And what we will do is we'll take thousands of photographs, we'll create a 3D model, so we'll recreate those cliffs in the computer and then we'll study them to try to understand the risk associated with them potentially collapsing if there's some earth tremors with a volcan with the next volcanic eruption. We had uh, some very good days. We had uh, five excellent weather days and we worked intensively during those days. We had a primary objective, which was to map those cliffs, but then we also had a series of secondary objectives. One of those was to use a thermal camera to, to map the thermal activity. Uh, around the volcano and specifically these hot springs that we're standing in at the moment. And the purpose behind that is that um, the Spanish who are monitoring, they take point measurements at various places around the edge of the volcano to, to, to make sure if it's to see if different parts are heating up. But with a thermal map, we can see the whole area. The idea of that is we create a baseline survey which we can come back and do it again and again and again at, at yearly intervals. And you will start to see certain areas becoming hotter. And those are then the areas where the next eruption is probably most likely to take place. Well, we've been very fortunate to be supported by uh, Hurtigruten Expeditions. So uh, we basically flew down to Ushuaia. We boarded the uh, MS uh, Royal Amundsen. And we went with the Royal Amundsen uh, on a cruise along the Antarctic Peninsula before we were meant to be dropped here on Deception Island, but due to weather, um, that couldn't happen. So we were transferred to the sister ship, Pitch of Nansen, uh, who then dropped us here uh, on the beach uh, a few days ago, about a week ago. And today we're being picked up by uh, Guala Amundsen again to sail back to Ushuaia.